Boom. All right. Part three. Welcome back. Okay. So in the previous video, we talked about the step build tool and how we could literally come in here and just draw vertices on the surface of our model and then hold down shift and drag from edge to edge to create more polygons in that edge ring. And the reason why this is so important is because in video games, you got to work with nice, clean edge rings. See these little, these little guys here, the horizontal lines connected by nice quads that flow in a ring? That's an edge ring, okay? And those guys deform well, they shade well, they're easier to UVW map, all of the above, okay? Instead of this horrible tessellated nightmare that I get out of ZBrush. But we have to work with ZBrush in order to use the virtual clay to actually be able to sculpt organic characters like this really quickly. If I had tried to do this in 3D Max, it would it would take me the rest of my life. But in ZBrush, it's only a couple of days to whip up uh, a, a sort of rough basic likeness like this. But anyways, let's talk about the Extend tool. So while my Box 001 object is still selected, I'm going to come down here and click on the Extend tool. Now the Extend tool does exactly what it sounds like it does. If I come in here and I hold down Shift, and this is very critical because what you hold down when you use the extend tool has a big influence on how it creates. If I just hold down shift and I pull on this edge, see what happens? I grow a brand new quad. And it should be noted that it is adhering to the surface of my high poly geometry. Then I can come over here and grab this edge, holding down shift again, pull this little guy out. Now we have a problem though because I don't have the intervening polygon right here. Well, to build that guy, if I remember correctly, hold down, control and alt, and left click and drag from one edge to the other, and boom, it builds you the quad that is in between those two. But what if we get up here and we wanna build a quad in this section, but we don't have another edge up here to connect it to? That's simple. Don't hold down any buttons. Click on one of these interior vertices and drag. And look what happens. You create a whole new quad. Isn't that cool? Super convenient. So I'm going to come over here and do the same thing right here. But if you're like me and you're skeptical, your next question probably would be, yeah, but what if I want to move just an individual vertex? What if I don't want to mess up the fact that it's adhering to the surface, but I've put it in the wrong spot? That's easy too. If I want to move any one of these guys, and let's go ahead and look at him in a front viewport. I'm going to hit F. My computer's going to freak out for a second because I'm really pushing my luck with these high poly cages. All right. And I'm recording. That slows things down. So if I hold down Shift, Control, and Alt at the exact same time, all three of those guys, and I left click and drag on any one of my vertices, look at that. I can reposition it. Now, what if you want to delete one of these guys? Just hold down Control, click on the polygon you want to get rid of. Boom. Control, Alt, and drag to rebuild it. And from here, the process would be that I would build out all of the polygons associated with the entire, say, right side of his head. Then I would come in when that's done, zero out my center vertices and apply symmetry to it, and I'm ready to do my normal map projection. Well, actually, I'm ready to unwrap my low poly, then do my normal map projection, which I'm also planning on making some video tutorials of soon as well. I just wanted to make sure that, I mean, this is a really powerful tool. It's really impressive, and I think it's a little easier than doing retopo inside a ZBrush. And I'm always looking for ways to make your lives easier, and my life. Uh, this will definitely speed up work on uh, my current project as well. So I hope this was useful. I am planning on adding more uh, videos to this series, but I just wanted to hurry up this week and get this little three-part series out here so that you guys could start experimenting with the tools and then track me down in person or email me or hit me up on pixelscholar.com uh, with your questions. Thanks.